many of you guys get these? Oh, I'm reach over here real quick. Okay. All right. How many guys get this message? And you know, obviously, the common one, right? But the problem is, this is Subaru Crosstrek, right? So I send it to them and I tell them, look, this like. The check engine light goes on and it comes back back off it goes on sometimes you know then it comes off on its own you know and then i actually have a diagnostic tool that i put in the odb port and i gave them two error codes that popped up while it was on so obviously if there's no check engine light on they can't you know i'm assuming they can't figure out a way that you know what's wrong with it I mean, you're a mechanic. You, you can figure out what's wrong without, you know what I mean? Just, you don't only rely on codes, I'm sure. But anyway, they were like, all right, if it, if it gets, uh, you know, whatever, we'll, we'll, you know, let us know if it, if it you know. He, what, what they said was it was part of the battery. It was low voltage. And sometimes that could trigger all these lights to turn on. Because once the check engine light comes on, the reverse braking deactivates, the eyesight deactivates, everything. You know, it's just all the lights turn on at once. So now I gotta give them a call. So if you guys ever had this problem, and it's funny, cause when I got there, I heard one of the other uh, sales, uh, what do you call it, um, sales, uh, <laughs> what do you call it, uh, uh, service advisors, um, on the, telling the other coworker that they had a customer, you know, and this is on the far end, but I heard say they had a customer who had the same issue. So it's funny, cause my advisor haven't even spoken to me yet, but I'm, I'm right, I'm standing right there, and I'm like, yeah, I just heard them that conversation. I'm having that same issue. And I don't think he heard what they were talking about, but I told him what the issue was. But anyway, he assured me, you know, because still in the warranty that if if, if if it still lights up, whatever, to let him know. So that's what I'm going to do. But it's just annoying because this is, I think, the third time that I mentioned it. And so it's like something's got to give, man. I mean, like, they got to figure it out because as you see, 31,000 miles. <laughs> I'm very close to that uh, 36,000 miles and almost at three year. So whatever comes first and I don't want, and I'm sure the miles might come first. Well, maybe, but um, you know, I don't want it to be where I'm asked out. You know what I mean? So if you guys experience this issue with super rules, you know, maybe it's a known issue. I don't know, but it, it's weird that usually something's wrong. The check engine light comes on and stays on. But this one keeps coming on and off. So, guys, if you have experience, I'm reaching out to you guys. If anybody knows if this is a known issue or it could be multiple issues, who knows? But let me know if it, if it keeps going off, coming back on, and then what they tell you, what, what was the resolution on that? Because I don't want to wait till the, the, the miles pass or the, or, the, or the time pass and I'm not covered, it's not covered under warranty anymore. So, you know, oh, by the way, they, he did say that even if it goes over, that it, it was a known issue documented, so they will it will be covered. But you know, I don't want to go through all that. I just wanted to get it done ASAP. You know, I don't want it to go to that mark where we at that point. As I say, cross the bridge and get there, right? Anyway, thanks for watching.